Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back. Gonna be hitting part five of the Shovel Knight playthrough here today. We're going to cover the Trapple King, since I haven't did that yet. Um, we're gonna get some upgrades to the health and magic, and we're gonna hit Mole Knight here while we're at it. So, thank you guys for stopping by, and let's kick it off. The first thing we'll go after here is we're gonna get some health upgrades because we need a little bit more health. Game's starting to get a little harder, bosses are faster, smarter, blah blah blah. Um, so let's get a health upgrade and maybe some magic. Your magic only goes to 100 unless you have the armor to extend it, so magic isn't really that hard to come by. The health is definitely one that we need. Look like fish. Let's see how much his next one is. Oh, he's all out. Okay, that's the only ones we can buy from him. The rest of them we have to get during the game. So we can go ahead and get a magic upgrade while we're here. Might as well. And I'll show you guys something. I did this on purpose last level with Plague Knight to show you. I didn't get the relic for a reason. Because now he has it and it's jacked up in price. So you always want to find them from the level. But the reason I skipped that one is because that coin doesn't really do anything. It just gives you treasure, more treasure out of an enemy. So I don't really go for that one as much. Okay. So let's just head on out through Yander way here, Yander. Okay, so now we're gonna go tackle the Trapple King, and this isn't a boss, this is actually a benefactor to you in the game. Because I remember I told you you could get potions and stuff to heal you later on. Unfortunately, the magical Icor, that's pronounced Icor. Choose your Icor wisely. So, if you have the Trapple Chalices, which I bought in one of the previous parts to this playthrough, you can fill them. And of course, we want the health and magic one because, well, duh. And since we have two, you can get two of those. <clears throat> and now, because we bought those, we have to watch this ignorant dance scene that you cannot skip, and I hate it. $50 gift card, yes. Go to that link command giveaway, and that explains everything about it. Everything about that there gift card. Gift card. By the way, did you watch the, the setup video? Yeah, like I said, this is just one of those ignorant little... You have to watch that the first time it happens. Then every other time you come to get potions after that, he doesn't do the dance. It's very possible, man. It's very possible to do a setup like that. I thought it was damn near impossible myself. It's not. It's very possible. If you set your mind to it, you can make something happen. My fiance's making fun of me in case you guys are wondering what I'm staring at. Totally what she's doing, but whatever. We'll just ignore her and continue on with the playthrough. Alright, so this is the Lost City or Mole Knights player and favorite track of the whole game right here. The music to this level is my absolute favorite. I love this track. It's also one of my favorite levels because it introduces, um, more environmental challenges as far as being able to ride stuff and you, you'll see. Face reveal. <laughs> no, she always opted to stay out of stream. That was that was one of the deals.
And so I respect her wishes. The cool thing about these guys, if you have the charge like that, and their, sh their shield is facing you, you can still um, kill them. Okay, not really a deal. My, my terminology was just messed up there. Y you get what I'm I was trying to say, though. I, I hope. <laughs> yeah, I'll show you. Like this. What the hell? And you can kill those those things, but you get it. What in the blue fuck is this? Well, um, this is Shovel Knight. And it's one of the best games ever. I'm actually recording a YouTube playthrough series of this game. I'm in the middle of recording it right now. Actually, as we speak, okay? This is what I meant by the whole riding thing. You have to be very fast. So you don't miss your ride here. If you do, well, you're screwed. And that's why I love the Chaos Orb right there, for that reason. I didn't even have to hit him. Just chuck a couple of those at him, boom, he's dead. And we're at the first checkpoint. Oh, you have to understand shields. He's uh, a rather rude individual. <laughs> Long time buddy, in case you're wondering. I'm just gonna push you off since you're gonna be like that. Okay, next checkpoint. Now these rocks, another environmental thing, you have to, these are like little bomb rocks and you have to be very careful about how you time hitting them because they will screw you up. I was about to say, hello, some random dickhead joining the stream. <laughs> That's funny. That, that's hilarious. It takes a lot to, to learn some people. Oh, I just screwed up big time. For those of you watching this on YouTube, I'm terribly sorry. I screwed that up royally. We have to be careful or else we're gonna mess our checkpoint up. <clears throat> That took some practice the first time I did that. Right there. That took some practice. To get those, of course, you gotta be fast, all that good stuff. Okay. Which I Now, see, like this, you have to be careful which ones you hit because if you hit the wrong ones, well, you're screwed. I'm not even gonna worry about it. See? Artifacts. Artifacts for the win. Now, this is actually one of the best the best artifacts you can get in the game. It's the dust knuckles, and these things work wonders on, like, areas like this. You can just zoom right through these. 
and they don't use that much magic either. It's probably one of the best. Right up there with the Chaos Orb, you can uh, move right through enemies without getting hurt. It's like that. A lot of uh, a lot of your speedrunners actually use the Dust Knuckles, and there's another artifact you get later on in the game that like really goes towards your speedrunning ability. I've often I've often wanted to do a speedrun of this game, see how fast I could do it. Like not really worry about the artifacts, just blaze straight through it and only get the ones I need. Because as much as I've played this, I feel like I could. I feel like I might be able to do a decent, maybe not a good run, but a decent run. World record time. That's actually very undoable unless I practice it because there's a lot of people that's already beaten that. I've watched a lot of them and I just don't understand how they do it. It's really easy once you get the the blade propeller in uh, one of the earlier levels, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Or later levels, not. I'm dumb. I forget how to do this. Oh yeah, you have to time it. Do that. Anything is possible. Well, I guess that's the pot calling the kettle black, because I literally just said that about setting up a stream. And here I am saying that, oh, you can't do it. <laughs> I just royally messed up. I needed to go to the top right over there. Well, you guys get it. You have to be very careful fighting him, because he will screw you up. You take the floor out from under you. Well, you're just screwed. Oh man! What we have this for? Oh, I forgot the phase lock. It doesn't work in lava. Oh great! Hey, at least I get to go back and redo that one part now. And see, that's the cool thing about it. I don't mind dying during this playthrough because I want it to be as real as possible, you know? I want it to symbolize that this game is challenging at times and it will screw you up. Go. Whoa. Oh, baloney. Now we can go back down this way. A lot easier that time. Okay, so we need to go over here first. First off, we gotta get all that treasure I lost. Ah! Hence, once again, why the Chaos Orb is amazing. Uh, let's hit this checkpoint before we go anywhere. That might be the best. So obviously, you know, you're like, oh, how do I get through here? Oh, dust knuckles, because they work.
We don't want both of them little fuckers. Oh, well, guess what? They do chase me. Oh, man. I forgot to use my 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 power glove there. All right, bro. Thank you for coming by. Thank you for the resub. Guys, I just messed up. Maybe not. I will. I'll holler at you later, bro. Come on. I need you. Come over here. I need to use you. Always ways to get around stuff if you mess up. Always ways. You just have to think about it and see what's going on. And see, instead of having to dig through all this, you just... Dust knuckles, man, for the win. They work every time. Oh, I forgot we're already at the boss. So this is Mole Knight. He's got more of an environmental type boss battle. He can tunnel down, um, tunnel through the walls, and he's super fast. Like, the more you hit him, the faster he gets. Kind of like those Mario 3 bosses, where the more you hit him, the faster they get. So, Chaos Orb definitely comes in handy for this. Oh, we've basically got this in the bag. One more hit. And that's that. That's Mole Knight. So I said he's my favorite. He's the easiest, but can also be the hardest if you don't know what you're doing. Like I said before, I've played this game. Numerous amount of times, I pretty much know all the bosses. Now, we we'll see, we know we're at a big checkpoint because there's a chest and the music changed. So now we gotta catch Shield Knight, do all that good stuff. I know. That last hit, which, I mean, that was me just trying to charge up and kind of epic kill him. I could have just jumped right over there and got him, but... You know. So this is a dream sequence. And like I said, you have to catch Shield Knight. You can get a shit ton of treasure. Good job! Gotcha. That's the whole goal of Shovel Knight's playthrough here, is to get to the end and save Shield Knight. This is where we're gonna get our health upgrades. Hey. All right. So now that we have the dust knuckles, we can go do this last little treasure run right here, and then we get to see the next part of the map. Oh. Before we continue over there, let's go do this <clears throat> treasure run. And you have to have the dust knuckles for this one. If you don't, you can't beat it. Just absolutely. There's no way you can do that with any other artifact. <clears throat> I just love the the thought process and the mechanics behind that was such a good idea. Now before these guys do that, yeah, that's why we needed that. <laughs> We can start from top to bottom and just clear it out this way. That's just so fun. Yeah. Hmm. 
All right, so we got the treasure run. And we're already back up to like 14,000 where we left off before. So, I mean, once we go sell this. Might look at getting some more upgrades. I still don't think you can buy any more meal tickets. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he's out. So we'll buy a magic upgrade because why not? Oh, that's something new to show you guys. Yes, yeah, so if you're in this village and want to go to the next village, jump on the catapult. And instead of having to go across the map, it just brings you straight to the next village. Which, and lo and behold, music note. You can exit that way, come down here. It's just neat little stuff. Okay. So that covers Mole Knight, the Trapple King, and Mole Knight's treasure. Um, we have a meal ticket we need to go get rid of. I can't believe I didn't do that before. I are a good player. I totally forgot. I was more worried about magic. Alright. Let's cut that. So that's basically part five. That covers Mole Knight and the second half of the map. And now we're going to be moving on to the third part of the map, which will be in part numero six o there. <laughs> um, thank you guys for coming by and watching. Feel free to hit that subscribe button. Follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash digital clink. Um, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all those. Feel free to catch me and follow me and post an updates when I'm going live, all that good stuff post the new videos yep follow me there i'll see you guys next time for part six cheers